Hello, my name is Billy Diamond. I'd like to introduce you to my trick, you name it. Whether you're seven or you're 97, this is a really easy to do trick that anybody who desires to do a magic trick can do. And it has great unlimited possibilities as well. Let me show you what I mean. going to do is I have these name tags here that I just pulled and I you see I have my little name tag badge as well and I just pulled four cards actually and Ryan what we're going to do is we're just going to pick a topic um just pick a topic I don't care what uh candy candy okay there's all kinds of different kind of candy right yep now we could simply write on here candy on every single card mm. or we can take this a step further we can write different kinds of candy uh, now you realize though if we do write different kinds of candy that's product placement and dad gets more money for that no i'm kidding i'm kidding so <laughs> no product placement it is product placement that's the beauty of this trick it is product placement uh uh let's talk candy do you want to write candy on all all, all four cards or should we write different kinds of candy it's up uh, to you different kinds different kinds okay so let's do that um give me a give me a name of a candy uh sweet tarts sweet tarts okay we're gonna write sweet Okay, there's one. Okay. Uh, gobstoppers. Gobstoppers. You, you got to write these long names, huh? Gob. <laughs> Gob. I don't know if it's two Bs or one B. I don't know, but we're gonna. Sorry, Gobstoppers, if you're watching. <laughs> okay. Okay. Gobstoppers. Sweethearts. Gobstoppers. Uh, twi more. Twizzlers. Twizzlers. Hey, they're made locally, right here in Hershey, Pennsylvania. Twizzlers. One of my favorite licorices, actually. Twizzlers. Okay. And whoppers, whoppers, whoppers like uh, what do you mean? Yeah, I'm stuck with whoppers. Oh. Like the uh, oh, like mal malted milk bones. Yeah, whoppers. Are the brand whoppers. Okay. okay, so we have all these choices, and there's many, 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 many more choices of candy. Correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, so. What we can do is we have sweet tarts, gom stoppers, twizzlers, and whoppers. Um, Ryan, is there any possibility that I would know? Now I do know you quite well, so, but I, I don't, I honestly, I really do not know what is your favorite, but you have one. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't even have to be your favorite, but out of, the, out of these candies, which one would you pick? And I'm gonna show you how I, I let me back up. I'm, I made a prediction actually. Okay. I made a prediction that you would choose one, okay? Mm -hmm. So kind of send me your thoughts, and at the same time, I want you to just go ahead and point to one of those kinds of candies. Oh. Sweet Tarts. Mm -hmm. Sweet Tarts is always a good choice, isn't it? It is. It really is. Gobstoppers would have been a good choice, and so on and so forth. Because what I've done, Ryan, is I've actually marked the backs of the cards. You see, look here. This in here, the Gobstoppers, mm -hmm. you see, that could have been your first choice, right? Mm -hmm. Check this out. The Twizzlers could have also been your first choice, right? Right. Another good choice. And Whoppers, finally Whoppers, could have also been your first choice. Right. right. Here's the cool part. You chose Sweet Tarts. I made a prediction that you would choose Sweet Tarts. How did I know? Because look, it's the only blue back card. It says, hello, your choice right there was Sweet Tarts. Let me show you a little bit of a benefit with these particular uh, professionally printed cards that I have. Uh, they're a hello my name is tag, as you can see. And the beauty of it is, is the fact it is, it's something identifiable and is also a magic trick as well. Um, these are not just done on my home printer. These are professionally done. They are a nice, solid 16-point matte finish card. You don't really need to know that, but what I'm really trying to say is it's a nice, durable card that is going to last you a long time. Professionally printed, here again, it is uh, full color on both sides with a die cut, professionally uh, die cut corners as well, which makes it real easy for handling. And they're not jumbo size cards which also makes it very nice that it is easy to handle this trick aside from uh, the cards themselves you're gonna get full printed instructions very detailed instructions I put a lot of time energy and thought into this particular the creation of this particular trick um, so you're gonna get the full instructions for it as well and you'll also get uh, this name badge holder and that contains the set 
Now, the cool part is, is you could wear this, say you're doing a trade show, you could wear this uh, and it could have your name on it, it could have the company's product or service name on it, so it could be a widget, and you say, oh yeah, and while I'm at it, let me show you something. Uh, my name's not really widget, but uh, I have, I'm a magician. Can I show you something? And here again, now you're talking about product placement. You're talking about giving your audience some choices, making you look like a hero, but whoever you're working for look like the star. So uh, say you don't want to use the uh, name badge, you can pull that thing off and you have a nice plastic, uh, plastic holder for this as well. So this is a great television trick because what you could do is you could put the name of the show, you could put the name of the network or the name of the news channel. Say it's, uh, for me locally, it's uh, News 8, so NBC News 8. I might put uh, News 8 right here and I'm doing the trick and I write that on all my cards and I'm gonna make a prediction and of course, it ends up being the reveal being that it is their choice, whatever whatever they pick. And it's great because that, that reflects the viewer at home as well as that it was their choice and should be their choice. So it has magnificent possibilities. So you can use names and as you saw in the video, all kinds of different things. So again, this is my trick, you name it.